Hey everyone, I'm so sorry that I took six months to do this, but um, I've been busy traveling and working and then getting fired and uh, yeah, I've just, repairing Xboxes has been, has been the last thing on my mind and self-loathing has been top priority. <laughs> so anyway, enough about personal stuff, uh, let's get started. Um, now, I just tested that this is all working, mostly, before I got electrocuted, but that's okay. Um, yeah, don't fucking touch the power stuff. I've been working in IT for ages, and I always learn the hard way. Anyway, uh, so, disk drive, gonna need one of those. Um, all IDE doesn't need to be uh, uh, 40, 80 wide, doesn't matter. Uh, while it's in the computer, while it's in the Xbox, has a different story altogether. Uh, it's all connected. I've got the duct tape there. Hang on. I'm so sorry. I'm going to change the music. Okay, that's better. You're going to need to tape up your adapter that I mentioned in my other video, the probably be description uh, about what adapter I'm using. So that's very important, yeah. Anyway, that's the SATA to ID adapter you're gonna need. I know that there is SATA on this computer, but um, the CD is not designed to read SATA, unfortunately. Which makes sense, I guess, because the Xbox doesn't. Um, but yeah, all IDE. Uh, this is on cable select at the moment. I don't. I didn't bother putting a pin header in it, which works amazingly, surprisingly. Uh, this is on master right now. Uh, you need a Western Digital hard drive uh, if you're going to be locking it, because I found the new Seagates don't have a security locking thing anymore. Which um, makes no sense to me at all. I guess it's just a useless feature. They maybe save them like two dollars or something for each hard drive. I have no idea, but yeah, they got rid of it. Anyway, let's get started. This uh, computer is all IDE and um, whatever, which is important, you'll need that later. Um, yeah, just select your CD-ROM there. Um, yeah, and then select one for uh, booting your yeah, utilities and whatever. Alright, and type in Xbox HD. Keep in mind that Linux is very, very case sensitive, so... Um, typing Xbox in capital as opposed to lowercase makes a giant difference in Linux. Uh, yeah, and select yes for that. That is our hard drive, because I'm using a Western Digital Blue one terabyte, brand new. It shows up there, which is all good. This is very, very good. If any of you are trying to do this and you're watching this tutorial because you've been struggling, this is this is very, very good. Um. So the way what you're going to want to do is build the HD from scratch because it is brand new. I haven't used it for anything else, literally taking it out of the plastic. No Xbox partial table found. That's it's brand new. Type in yes. The partial is uh, the drive is bigger than eight gigabyte. Yes, it is probably. Hundred times bigger than eight gigabytes, so you're gonna want to press yes for that. Um, and 
Now the Xbox hot chair has been found. Format it. Yes, you're going to want to do that. That would probably help. Um, and I don't know if you drink beer or coffee. Uh, yes. Here's your FNF file. Would you like to format it? Yes. But yeah, whatever you do drink, you're going to want to have some of that because this is going to take a very, very long time. It's not a small hard drive, it's a big hard drive. So it's going to take a while to format. I don't know what it's doing right now. I really hope it's not frozen because it's, um, it, I can tell it's thinking because the lines are moving like that. Um, I guess it does do that sometimes. Thank God, I was going to get really scared then. Okay, um, I'm going to be patient and just assume that it's going to take a very long time because it's formatting a one terabyte drive. Okay, All right, I passed. So, yeah, just be mindful occasionally. Things may take very, very long in this. Uh, so, yeah, that's just saying copy files from C. So, if you put C in your CD, uh, you're going to want to type in yes. By the way, if it says Y or N or yes or no, it doesn't, it's going to register as. Uh, Whatever you say, so like if it says yes or no, type yes or no. Don't type Y when it says yes. If it says Y or N, type that because uh, for some reason the person who did this didn't bother programming both. Made it a little bit confusing. So when it gives you an option, you choose between the options. Don't assume. Don't type in one or two. Um, I'm assuming for most people that have uh, used a bit of Linux, they're going to know this already, but not everyone's used Linux. So this that's just something that's important I found. Anyway, um building the C takes a lot longer than the E. If you've got music on your hard drive, uh that can take um a bit long too. So yeah, this can take a while. So don't stress about that. Don't go, oh it's frozen. If it's taken longer than an hour and a half or hour and forty five minutes may have frozen, but just be patient. Now it's definitely the time to go grab that coffee or maybe start on the beers and have a cigarette or uh, have a wank or whatever goes fancy to pass the time. Music, place, your other Xbox, PS2, just... It's going to take a while. Waste the time. I'll be back when it's done. The C took about 10 minutes. E drive's ready type yes and that took like no time because all that was on the e drive was a folder saying uh u data and t data which is where your save files go so that's good now, so now what we're gonna do is um reboot so eight um i think you can just type reboot it should be fine Oh yeah, um, because this computer is fucking old and retarded, um, doesn't like to be shut down the proper way, so I'm just gonna go all old school on it and fucking rip the plug out. And... <clears throat> Not the best thing to do, but it managed to shut down the hard drive, so that's good. Now when this loads, uh, type 3, now I didn't really mention this before but you need the, if you um, 
have a soft modded console, you need um, your EEPROM to lock the drive. I'll just click to 3 then. So if you don't have the EEPROM, you're not going to get very far after this point. Well, to be honest, well, uh, yeah, never mind about that. Yeah, you need it. E prom. So, at this point, so type in lock HD, then space this dash sign. and a press that lovely enter key then that's what I mean about the yes and no thing it's got to be Y or N and that's the Western Digital so that's okay WDC press yes and that's what we want to see all that now it says it doesn't say security is locked yet, the cat kind of, it's a bit sketchy, it doesn't always say how locked it is, it's uh, really annoying actually, but that's why I prefer PC over um, Chimp, because Chimp sometimes will say weird shit like that, but as soon as it's reset, it will be fine. Um, and the security frozen thing, be very mindful that occasionally it might come up as security frozen, if you are, uh, fucker, sorry. Um, if it comes up with that, um, best thing to do is to go to your BIOS and uh, set your hard drive as not detected. And it will still be there when this system starts up, like through the CD. It, it's just a way around the frozen thing. I don't really understand what it is or why it does that. Some people like to hot swap it to get past it, but... Yeah, if that happens, that's why. Anywho, um, I'm going to put this in the Xbox and show you that it works. Okay, so this is a um, 1.6 Xbox. Um, for the sake of this tutorial, let's just say it's retail, but someone has put another drive in there because Thompson was manufactured after this point. But yeah, this is not the very original drive. But this, for the sake of this, we'll say it's retail. Um, now, important, very important. Oops, not step on that, that's important. Okay. AD wire IDE cable. This is important. That stock cable will not work for the one terabyte. If you're using a 500 or 320 or 200 gigabyte with the um, uh, with this SATA adapter, it might work. It uh, has worked for me before, but generally you're going to need an 80 wire IDE cable. A lot of people, like in the last tutorial, said they had problems and they're like, oh, it's not working, I'm getting this error. Even after I said several times, 80 watt IDE cable. Very, very important. Anyway, um, I'm not going to baby you guys from this point out when I put this hard drive in. So I'm sure you can manage that part. Um, yeah, feel free to clean your Xboxes out too. And if you have a clock capacitor, which should be over there take it out but not with this one this is a, a 1.6 xbox where the clock capacitor is over there don't pull it out that's important uh this xbox used to be chipped at some point but someone's removed it um yeah but it works um yeah that's all i want to say for that the anno very, very annoying part about um, using cables that aren't for the Xbox is you need to do them the, plug them in the wrong way around 
need to do a bit of twisting to get it to fit. So if it looks a bit raggedy, that's fine. As long as it all connects and it closes up, that's okay. Also, be gentle, because uh, this technology isn't invis invincible, even though it's like 15, 16 years old. So, um, yeah, just once it's in there, gently try to pull it in and push all the bits down, because it's, yeah, it's not invincible. Okay, so now for the money shot. It's all plugged in. And uh, done a bit of twisting. It's not quite finished yet. I've got to put that under the little thing and pull the screws back in. But this is just to make sure it works. So far, so good. Still a green light. Microsoft showed up straight away. That's a very good sign. Didn't hold whatsoever. If it does, you may have a problem. And yes, it is the original Xbox dashboard some reason I don't have it modded yet but I'll show you something okay so for this soft mod should be able to hopefully there's the save that I'm looking for is on here it is not okay well that's not a problem anyway I'm going to go and put uh, the splinter cell hack on there and then go ahead and soft mod that but yeah, this is pretty much a retail Xbox right now. I've got one terabyte in a retail. I don't know why the hell anyone would want to do that because um, you can't put Infinity Music on there because uh, there has a cap on it. You can only put 500 songs on that, which I learned the hard way. But yeah, um, once I just go ahead and soft mod this like if it was a retail Xbox... It will then um, allow me to format, reformat this hard drive in Unleash X, and then I'll have a one terabyte drive. Um, you do have to, uh, well, you don't have to, but it is a good idea that you partition this drive in half, both uh, about like 480 on each, on F and G. Uh, it just makes it more stable. Um, especially if you're having problems, give that a go. Anyway. I finally did it. We did it. And it worked every step of the way. I did not have to troubleshoot, except for that time I got electrocuted, the other video I made. Anyway, have fun with that.